Okay, good morning, sabah al khair, bonjour, guten morgen, um, buenos dias, uh, I think that's all I know for now. <laughs> well, welcome you guys, so I know I did promise you guys a Q&A, so I pretty much right here, I have all the screenshots of the polls I asked you guys on Instagram, so let's get started. Um, one of the main questions I get all the time is what do you vlog with? right here it's my canon camera sx 740 hs there's just a lot of questions just questions about me so like what's your sign how old are you where are you from um are you single <laughs> let's just do that first let me like introduce myself so my name is sophie el zane i'm 24 years old i'm a pisces my birthday is march 6th um, I'm 24 years young actually, not old. <laughs> I am single. I was born in Lebanon. Um, and we're from the, from Sur. I need more coffee in my system, but I don't have those Starbucks to go and I don't like drinking black coffee all day. That's just what I do in the morning. By the way, yeah, a lot of you ask how I drink my coffee. I drink it black. It's like my soul and my heart. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, um, I'm the first child in, on my mom's side of the family and the first girl on my dad's. So my mom had me out there because everyone wanted to see me, you know, I'm a little spoiled still until this day, not complaining. <laughs> but um, I got my shot. You guys, it's still like marked. <laughs> they like scarred my body. When I turned three months old, um, my mom came back to California to my dad and been here ever since. I moved out to Germany for two years. It was okay, like I just, I love California and it feels so good to be back here. So I do speak a little German, no ein bisschen. So yeah, okay, next question. And what was your dream job when you were a child? So I'm not gonna, child, I don't know. I wanted to be a million things when I was younger, but I remember in middle school and going into like high school, I really wanted to be a teacher. Because when I was young, I was actually bullied a lot. Like, it was bad. Like, a lot of you guys know my original name is Safa. So people would call me Sofa. Sometimes they would come sit on me. And it was hard. And I sometimes, like, I try to, like, just be nice to everyone so everyone can like me. But I got to a point where I was like, you know what? Like, screw this. If you like me, you like me. If not, then bye, pretty much. But... Um, it was hard like I was bullied as a kid so I would see that and I saw a lot of kids that used to get bullied in my school and it like it would hurt me because I'm the type of person where I want everyone around me to be happy I always want to give out the best advice I always want to just be that nice genuine caring loving person but like it doesn't always work out that way for me you know like I, I give 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 but I, I like 50% only get that back like I I get hurt a lot like you guys think I have this perfect life But I really don't you guys like I don't like I get hurt. I, I cry. I laugh I, I live just like you guys. Um, where did this conversation go like I'm sorry um, so I I pretty much I wanted to be a teacher because my teachers were so nice to me so sweet always caring supportive like and I wanted to be a teacher just to like promote um, non-bullying, uh, love, support. I wanted to do like groups in schools and like just to like get everyone to love each other. Pretty much now like and being on Instagram and getting to talk to you guys and getting you guys to vent to me and like ask for my advice. I pretty much got what I wanted because I have been influencing a lot of people to be happy and like just to not think negative and just like you guys need to love your life you know when i get those dms back like you guys telling me like thank you i really needed this you guys don't understand how happy that makes me and when i get messages from you guys like telling me how much you appreciate me and love me and care about me like the other day i cried at how many dms i got like i'm so happy like I do know what I did to deserve you guys because I've always been such a good person. Most people say, oh, I don't know what I did to deserve you. No, I know I'm a good person and I know I deserve you guys. Um, what keeps you motivated? You guys, honestly. 
when I don't post, I get a few messages saying like, where are you? I hope you're okay. We want to make sure you're doing okay. One time I got the sweetest message of a girl saying like, no matter how busy she is, she always manages to open my stories just so she can make sure like I'm doing okay. And that was amazing. And I really appreciate my Insta family. I would never, and I swear to this because I've said it in front of so many people in person, I do not consider you guys my followers. You guys my, are my Insta family. I consider you guys family because without you guys, with, la, 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 I can't even talk today. Without you guys, I literally would be nothing. Yeah. Um, next question, where are you from? From Lebanon. Sur, uh, my mom is from Shaheen with an N, like no. <laughs> My dad is from Marrake, but my dad, um, my dad was actually born in Africa, uh, Abidjan. And then when he was like a teenager, I believe he moved out to California and stayed here ever since. Thank God, puppy, I love you. <laughs> because I honestly love where I live, you guys. Next question, what are you using for your shiny teeth? You're so beautiful. Reem, you're so sweet. For my teeth? I use Ibtisama Beauty, the whitening strips, or their toothpaste. Lish, inti lish, halwe, ahabbich. Ahabbich akhtar ya hayati diala. Okay, so this question, how tall are you? <laughs> okay, so actually wherever I go, I feel very tall compared to everyone. I'm 5'7". That's not that tall, you guys, but sadly, I feel like I'm a giant. Like, I walk by people and I, well, girl, like, no offense. But I just have to look down like a lot. Like, if I wear heels next to most people, like I know and when I go out, I just feel like I'm just causing a scene like because of how much people look at me. And when people come up, the best part is I'll be grocery shopping. This happens all the freaking time. And I don't grocery shop in heels, you guys. Go in tennis shoes or flip-flops, whatever the case is. Excuse me, ma'am, can you reach that for me? I'm just like... Sure, why not? Do you get a lot of hate? I do. Honestly, I try my best to not let it get to me just because all I'm trying to do is spread positivity and be myself in front of you guys. And I guess a lot of people don't like that, but sorry, like some people will message me like, go to hell. I'm like, okay, like, I don't really want to though. <laughs> uh, do you like to cook? I love to cook, especially when I just pull up a recipe and I just, I could be creative. Uh, where do you like to go when you just want to hang out and chill? Okay, so when I want to chill, it's mainly two things. I either want to just go on the beach and just like relax and just like stare off into the ocean. Or I like to um, go to a hookah bar, restaurant, whatever, and just smoke some hookah. Do you believe in luck? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I believe in karma, the good and bad karma. That's like my name, like that's what goes on in my head. Like just be a good person. They pissed you off. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. You're everything good you do, everything bad you do will come back. Uh, do you prefer cats or dogs? Definitely dogs. I'm allergic to cats. So. What is the first thing you notice about a person? <laughs> I notice how they are as a person for sure like personality wise like make sure you're a good genuine person because i like being around positive people i do not like being around people that just nag and complain and just always in a bad mood like i feel like that reflects on me and makes me in a bad mood just because if i care about a person like don't get me wrong if i'm close to someone and they want to vent to me and cry I will cry with you and I will give you the advice you need and I will motivate you to become like to be happy and become a better person. That's just me. But if I don't know you and like my first impression of you is that you just you're not a happy person, then I probably that will be my last time seeing you. And I like look wise, I look for someone that has a nice smile, like um, just laughing. Uh, what really makes you angry? Um, it takes a lot to make me angry, you guys, like a lot. What makes you laugh the most? Anything. If I see someone laughing that I don't even know, I'll start laughing with them. <laughs> it's just me. Uh, are you clean or messy? I am definitely a clean person. I do not like seeing anything messy. Like I, 
okay, I'm not, I'm not perfect. Like I do wake up sometimes and I don't fix my bed. Like that's just normal. But like clean, like if we're talking about cleanliness, I'm very clean. What does a successful relationship look like to you? A successful relationship. I'm not a professional, don't get me wrong. Communication is key. You should always trust each other. You should always, in a relationship, even though you're considered like girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, fiance, and fi fi yeah, fiance and fiance. <laughs> um, whatever it is, dating, just talking to the person, you should never, girls and guys, like this works on both, like both ways because I know a lot of girls you guys are savage like I can tell you that you guys need to like tone it down never control the person you guys if you ever feel like you're locking someone down or if they ever feel like they have to hide from you no matter what it is like even just going to their friend's house like girl what are you doing you're only you're either just gonna ruin the relationship or one day he's gonna backfire and do the same thing on you and you're not gonna like it but in reality you started that so you guys always should treat your partner the way you want to be treated and if your partner is busy and doesn't have a lot of time to like make time for you like that's totally okay i see these quotes on instagram by the way you guys do not listen to all the quotes you see on your newsfeed those are gonna make you guys end up single lonely and depressed like if your man's not answering for a few hours just know that the other relationship's going fine, like, what? You guys, some people are just busy, like, just be you. And if it's meant to be, no matter how hard you try to stop or end the relationship, if it's meant to be, it's going to happen. If it's not meant to be, no matter how hard you try, how many people you have, like, talked to the other person, no matter what, it's not meant to be in the end, and it's not gonna work out. And you guys, like, I know this for sure, if, you are in a bad relationship like a toxic relationship um and getting out of that that's a blessing so you guys and i'm sure a lot of people have bad experiences so learn from your experiences you guys like i've learned a lot like i know what i want now and i am not settling for less no way i know my worth i know who i am as a person i'm just gonna change the subject because i don't even want to get into this if you, what is the best foundation that you tried on your face okay so there's some that like I'll, i still love to this day for example the Too faced born this way i love that foundation and i honestly love mac studio fix foundation you guys and i recently tried the hourglass oh the liquid one i used to love the stick one i tried the liquid one and let me tell you guys, my makeup looked amazing. I went to Ulta and I was in line with my friend and then the lady looked at me. She was like, I really like your makeup. I was like, thank you. I really like your compliment. Like, you're so sweet. Thank you. What have you learned from the past? Okay. I learned that life goes on. Uh, nothing is worth stressing about because in the end, your happiness means like everything. So if you're... Um, if you have a bad experience in anything in life, life goes on. It's not going to stay bad for a long time, you guys. Just so, like right now. But me thinking about like things that were stressing me out last year, making me like depressed and crying and sad. And I laugh about them today. Like I don't care about them anymore. Like they mean nothing to me. And your future is in your hands, you guys. Like whatever, whoever I am today is because of me. And my, ex my experiences that made me even stronger. But whoever I am today, that's all because of me. I chose to pick myself up, put my foot down, become the person I am today. And hey, do you enjoy nature? I love nature. And I was actually just talking to about this with my friend. Um, because in Lebanon, like I have friends that like to go clubbing and doing like all the above. But I'm the type of person, eh, I like like nightlife. And, but when I'm in Lebanon, like I prefer to be like you guys saw my vlog like I prefer nature I prefer nice views. How are you really? I'm great you guys like I'm better than ever Okay, what is one thing you would change about yourself if you could? I don't know like I like who I am ma'am. I think if I wanted to change one thing is like because I give really good advice I think I should just 
take my own advice, if that makes any sense. Like, if you had the choice to know when you're going to die, would you want to know? No, definitely not. That's it for today. Please like and subscribe to my channel so I can give you guys more videos and we can start my own YouTube family. I love you guys so much and thank you for everything you guys do for me. And I will be back soon. Love you guys.